It's football season, and uh, we're going to give you a little overview on uh, the upcoming 2018-19 season, and we're going to start with the large schools. Of course, it begins with the CBC cadets who are coming off a state championship in Class 6, and they're looking for another led by standout quarterback Brett Gabbard, and fueling the defense is uh, C.J. Anderson, headed to the University of Minnesota. Chasing the cadets, of course, will be teams like Kirkwood, who has a dynamic uh, offense led by University of Missouri recruit and Reese Massey, a uh, transfer from Francis Howell North, and also Jay Macklin, who, of course, has uh, family bloodlines going through that Kirkwood program. So those are two excellent football teams. You're also looking at Parkway North in Class 5, Eureka in Class 6, Ledoux and Fort Zumwalt North, two other, some other good large schools. On the Illinois side, it starts with Illinois Powers, of course, East St. Louis and Edwardsville. The East St. Louis Flyers have been a power for a long time, and in Darren Sunken's 17 years, he's kept the winning going with a couple of state championships, and the Flyers have another excellent team ready to go in 2018. While the Edwardsville Flyers, after an 0-3 start last season, they won nine consecutive games and made it all the way to the Class 8 semifinals, and most of those kids are back, led by its Dual threat quarterback Kendall Abdul Rahim, excellent ball player. So East St. Louis and Edwardsville setting the pace in the Metro East. Moving to the small schools, it starts with the Trinity Titans in Class 3, one of the great, will be one of the top contenders for a state championship. They're loaded all over the field, led by quarterback Isaiah Williams, headed to the University of Illinois. Marcus Washington, a stud wide receiver. Shaman Cooper, a tremendous middle linebacker. And Ira Henry, a big, massive offensive tackle. And plenty of other excellent players for head coach Terrence Curry in his first year with the Titans. Also in Class 3, Cardinal Ritter moving up from Class 2. They have a dynamic duo of their own in Jameson Williams and Cameron Coleman, two of the top wide receivers in the state being recruited from coast to coast. Moving into Class 2, Lutheran North will begin be a contender as well as they try to chase seven-time state champion Lamar. Uh, Lutheran North is led by uh, a great offensive line led by University of Missouri recruit Jack Buford. 6'5", 230 pounds, and it can really move. Carl Reed is another good team. Uh, in store for the season for the Luther North Crusaders. So it should be a lot of uh, good players. There's going to be a lot of good teams in St. Louis, and uh, we'll be keeping up with them throughout the season. Of course, the action begins on Friday night, the 24th, and we'll be keeping you up to date on everything every Thursday in the St. Louis American and online at stlamerican.com.